Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I use my grids on the iPad to create my digital artwork. When I'm creating my mandalas on paper with pen, I use a variety of radial grids to help me get in the detail and symmetry that I'm looking for. So when I create them on the iPad digitally, I also like to bring in these grids. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I bring these grids into the apps that I work on and use them. So we're going to start in Procreate and I'm going to start by creating a new canvas and show you how I bring a grid into the background. So we use this plus sign to create a new canvas and I have some presets down here. I'm just going to go with my standard 8 inch 300 DPI. This is also what I have my grid images set up for so it works perfectly. So I'm just going to turn my ink to black and then I want to bring in my grid. So I'm going to go over here to the wrench tool and I'm going to have image and I'm going to choose insert a photo. Now I have all my grids in my camera roll on my iPad and I have them set up in their own album. So down here I have grids and I have all the grids that I've created both in black and I also have them in a light blue. I prefer to use the PNG format because it has a transparent background. So that's how I make my grids and those are the ones I have on my camera roll. There's nothing blocking them from the back so they can layer on top of each other. If I want to bring in a second more detailed grid to go with the less detailed grid, I can do that. They lie on top of each other. See it? You can tell there's one there and I can turn it on and off. I can also change the opacity on them if I just want them to be very faint and act as a guide in the background. Next we're going to create a layer we're going to draw on and this one I'm going to use in Procreate with the Draw Assist. So we go into the wrench tool and hit canvas, we choose drawing guide and we go to edit our drawing guide. Here we want the symmetry and then down below we want rotational symmetry and we want the radial option. That will give us the eight section division that Procreate offers. Now when we go back into our layers, we can see that that layer is all set up with assisted already on it. It has to say assisted if you want Procreate symmetry to work. So then we're going to go in and choose one of my simple brushes and we're going to start drawing. So make sure you're on that layer and not on your grids. And as you draw, Procreate's drawing assist will do the symmetry for you and the guides in the background help me know where I want to start and stop with a little more detail. Now I do add more layers as I go in case I don't like what I've drawn. So you create a new layer and this is what happens with you if you just create a new layer and don't do the drawing assisted. So you have to tap on the layer and choose drawing assist if you want that layer to also work with symmetry. So just remember when you create a new layer if you want it to be working in symmetry as well, you have to choose that drawing assisted option. So that gives you a little idea of how I like to bring my grids into the background of a Procreate project. Now I'm also going to show you here, I like to keep a few files already made. So I have these available in my pack as well, but I have a square one set to my 8 inch 300 dpi. I have it already set up with a drawing layer and I already have my grid and it's all ready to go. So I like to keep one of these ready to go if I just feel like drawing without having to do all the setup. You can duplicate this file so that you always have one sitting in the background that's blank. The other thing I like here is I also have one set up for printing on letter size. So the canvas is set up for letter size at 300 dpi. I have all my grids here in blue and I also have all the grids in it on black. So this I have sitting in the background as well and I can duplicate it and then choose whichever grid I want and close those down and then I have my drawing layer. So whatever I don't want I turn off. I only turn on the grid that I want and I can turn on multiple grids if I want to. It depends on what kind of guide I'm looking for in the background and how much detail I want to add into my design. And with multiple grids I can change the opacity on the more detailed one and leave the 8 section darker. It's up to you how you want them to appear in the background. So these grids are in groups and I highly suggest that you lock the groups down once you have the grids the way you want them. That way you don't draw on them by mistake. Now we're on our drawing layer and we're not set up for symmetry yet in Procreate with this file. 
So we're going to go and do that. So here I can't choose drawing assist. So I have to go in and set up my canvas again. So here we go. We go into canvas drawing guide, edit the drawing guide. Now we want symmetry. We want rotational symmetry and radial. And now we're going to go back and we're all set up. See, it's already says assisted now. So we're good to go. And now you can draw in whatever ink color or pen that you want and you will get that rotational radial symmetry. So another trick that I have, I like to do the mirroring, which isn't a function yet that Procreate offers, but it's easy enough to do. You just go into your layers. Once you've drawn one aspect that you'd like to mirror, you go in and duplicate it, select it, and then you flip it horizontally or vertically, it doesn't matter. And there you have a mirrored look and I can turn off my grids to have a better look at it and I can turn them back on if I wanna draw some more. So that's how I use my grid images as references in the background of my Procreate art files. I'm also going to show you I have grid brushes that I've created and this is how I use them. So these are really handy to use if you don't want to go through the trouble of bringing in an image in the background or you don't have an image on your camera roll to use. So we go in here and I choose my grid brushes. And I have all 10 of them set up as brushes. And I'm going to choose one and I'm using black. Now on a clean layer, I'm going to put this in. It doesn't matter the size as long as it fits within the canvas. I'll show you how to make it the size of the canvas. You go into the selection and choose fit canvas. And it just puts it the same size as your canvas. And that's a quick and easy way instead of bringing in an image. I can change the opacity. I can lock that layer down. And there's my grid for a reference. And then onto a new layer, I can add another grid or I can start drawing. The nice thing with the Procreate brushes is you can make the grid any color that you want. You can do this with the image as well, but it's much easier with the grid as a brush. So I can go down here and I can choose red. Uh, I think I'm going to choose a darker red. There we go. And then I'm just going to go up again and choose my grid brushes. Just select one that I would like. I'll just choose the eight division and I'll put it in. And it doesn't have to be put in the center as long as it fits the canvas because we make it fit the canvas using the transform tool. So now I have a red grid. Sometimes you want the grid to be very different than the ink color that you're drawing in and you don't want it to be too faint. This is a really handy way to color your grids. Now, if I were to do that with a PNG and you have to be a PNG, not the JPEG. So I go in and I select one, I bring it into my canvas, then I go to the layer that it is on. So see my background, if I want my background to be a different color, let's see, blue. There, see how the background shows through because I have a PNG file? That's really handy if you want to draw on a different color. So I go back in here and I'm going to select the contents of my grid layer. So up here I choose select. Now it's only choosing the grid. Let's change it to white. Make a new layer and choose fill. And see, you can do it this way if you use a PNG image. Or you could just use a grid brush and choose white and make a white grid. So there's two different ways that you can do that. So let's go ahead and get this canvas set up for symmetry. Again, we edit the canvas, we choose the assisted drawing for this layer for sure and it's all set to go and no nope, I know what happened there that's the one my grid is on so I want the layer I don't want that one to be drawing assisted this layer I want drawing assisted so you can turn it on and off depending on what you want on that layer I'm going to rename this layer so I don't get confused and call it my grid in white there now I won't draw on it so I'm going to go ahead into my drawing layer. I'm going to choose a color this time. I'm going to choose a pink and I'm going to go ahead and draw in symmetry. So you see how the transparent files let you work in layers and you can choose the look that you're looking for that helps you draw with the most ease. So that's how I use my PNG files as reference grids in the background of my Procreate art. That's also how I use my Procreate grid brushes and the PSD file that I have sitting in my gallery in my Procreate um, art projects so that I can use it regularly. You can create your own reference grids or if you want, I have a digital pack available with all of these items in it through my website. I'll include the link in the description below.
You can also check out my video on how I use the PSD file with all the grids in it in both Procreate and in Autodesk Sketchbook and how I can transfer my artwork back and forth between those two apps. Thanks so much for joining me today and remember you can tag me on social media at JSP Create with your beautiful creations. I'll see you in the next video.